Hi friends, in this session of correlation analysis, we study about the indirect or shortcut method for raw data or individual series. First, we see the formula for all percent coefficient of correlation. Here we see R is equal to product of N into summation of the product of dx and dy minus the product of summation of dx into dy, summation of dy over square root of the product of N into summation of dx square minus summation of dx whole square here you also see then into square root of product of n into summation of dy square minus summation of dy whole square where dx is the deviation from assumed mean for x or step deviation we could say dy is the deviation from assumed mean for y or step deviation here n is the number of observation so uh, we see one tutor tech example, uh, it would be better to understand the call percent coefficient of correlation of row or individual series with shortcut method. Here you read this question and uh, calculate the call person's coefficient of correlation for the following edges of husbands and wives in years at the time of marriage. So here you see uh, edge of husband which we denote by x is given to us 23, 27, 28, 28, 28, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, uh, look at in this formula you see here we need dx product of dx and dy summation of dx summation of dy first of all we have to find out the dx and dy so here you see we have to make two columns one for dx and one for dy x is y are given so this column, these columns are compulsory to write this is the given column and this column we have to make a dx which is equal to x minus e and dy column we have to make y minus it is and here you see in the formula some other things are there summation of dx square so we have to make one more column for dx square and here also summation of dy square so one more column for dy square so here you see dx square and dy square and the final thing is the product of dx and dy the summation of dx and dy so here you see another column the final column we have to make dx into dy so in this way we have to make one two three four five six seven columns here uh, now uh, i write down the values of x which is given to us this question so it is 23 27 28 28 28, 30, 30, 33, then 35 and 38, 35, 38, this is x given to us, now we see y, y is 18, 20, 22, 27, 21, 29, 27, 22, 28 and 29. This data has been given to us for x and y. Now we have to find out dx which is x minus a so we assume here uh, a 28 we are assuming 28 a as a here assume mean so we get here dx x minus a i write down here 23 minus 28 here i write down 23 minus 28 
which is equal to minus 5. Here 27 minus 28 which is equal to minus 1. 28 minus 28 which is equal to 0. Now 28 minus 28 which is equal to 0. Here also 28 minus 28 which is equal to 0. 30 minus 28 which is equal to 2 plus 2. 30 minus 28 which is plus 2. 33 minus 28 which is 5. 35 minus 28 which is 7 and 38 minus 28 which is 10. So this we have got dx deviation from assumed mean of data x. Now we have to find out dy. So here dy and this is our y or we assume 21 as mean and in this data. So 18 minus 21 it is minus 3 here 20 minus 21 it is minus 1 22 minus 21 which is 1 27 minus 21 which is 6 21 minus 21 which is 0 29 minus 21 which is 8, 27 minus 21, which is 6, 22 minus 21, which is 1, 28 minus 21, which is 7, it is 29 minus 21, which is 8. Now dx square, so we have to make the square of this dx, so minus 5 square is 25, it is 25, oh, I just change the color, some dark color we have to use here, which is, it is 25 minus 1 square 1, 0 square 0, 0, 0, then 4, 2 square again 4, 5 square 25, then 7 square 49, and 10 square 100. Okay, and dy square we see minus 3 square 9, minus 1 square 1, 1 square 1, 6 square 36, 0 square 0, 8 square 64, 6 square 36, 1 square 1, 7 square 49, and 8 square 64. Okay, so this we have got here. Here you see, uh, we have to find our dx into dy. So minus 5 into minus 3, which is 15, minus 1 into minus 1, which is 1, 0 into 1 is 0, 0 into 6 is 0, 0 into 0 is 0. 2 into 8 is equal to 16 and 2 into 6 is equal to 12, 5 into 1 is equal to 5, 7 into 7 is equal to 49 and 10 into 8 is equal to 80. So this we have got here 15, 1, 16, 12, 5, 49 and 80. Now we have to find out the summation of dx, summation of dy, summation of dx square, summation of dy square, summation of dx into dy. If you get the summation of this minus 5 minus 1 which is minus 6 and here you see 2 plus 2 4 plus 5 9 plus 7 16 plus 20 which is 26. So 26 minus 6 so which is 20. So we got here 20. 
here you see minus 3 minus 1 minus 4 here 1 plus 6 7 plus 8 15 plus 6 21 22 29 plus 8 37 37 minus 4 so 37 minus 4 33 here you see if we get the summation of this we get here 208 208 here if we get the summation of dy square we get 261 and the summation of dx into dy which is 178 so we have got all the summation now we simplify this question now uh, now we solve this question we have all these values here i write down the formula here first so because r is equal to n to summation of dx into dy minus summation of dx into summation of dy over square root of n into summation of dx square minus summation of dx whole square into n into summation of dy square minus summation of dy whole square now we will put these all summations here in this formula and find out the reply and we know that the total number of terms here we count here so it is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 10 we have n is equal to 10 here I write down here n is equal to 10 so we put here 10 and into summation of dx into dy is 178 minus summation of dx which is 20 summation of dy which is 33 over square root of n is 10 we have summation of dx square here 208 minus summation of dx whole square summation of dx is 20 here n is 10 summation of dy square is 261 minus summation of dy whole square summation of dy whole square so dy is 33 okay so this we have got now we simplify this if we multiply 10 with 178 so we get 1780 and if we multiply 20 with 33 we get 660 and denominator if we multiply 10 with 208 to 2080 minus if we get the square of 20 which would be 400 into if we multiply 10 with 261 so it is 2610 minus if we get the uh, square of 33 which is 1089 implies to r is equal to if we subtract 1780 minus 660 we get 1120 here which is positive and if we subtract 2080 minus 400 we get 1680 if we subtract 2610 minus 1089, so we get here 1521 here 1120. If we find out the square root of 1680, 
So because the square root of 1681 is 41, so it is 40.99. And the square root of 1521, which is 39. If we multiply 40.99 and 39, so we get here 1598.61. If we divide this, so we get here R is equal to 0 0.701. So it is positive correlation and the degree of correlation we could say the calculation coefficient of correlation is 0.701. So, in this way, we could find out the answer of uh, this sort of questions. It is the Carl Pearson coefficient of correlation. Thank you.